I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a cute little cat ice cream cone. Find your mark making mediums, whatever you want to draw with, and something to color with. So in this drawing I'm using pencil crayon and felt markers, but you pick what makes you happy or something that you want to experiment with. And let's make some art. We're going to begin our drawing by near the top drawing a sideways letter C and then we're going to draw the stem of the cherry. So we're going to draw the cherry first that's going to be sitting on a little cat head and then we're going to draw the body and then the cone for the ice cream. So we'll draw two curving lines up with a little circle on the end for the stem of the cherry. And now we're going to draw a circle for the cherry itself. Next we're going to draw a curving sideways triangle and that's going to be the glare of light. Now we're going to draw the cat's head. So we're going to draw two curving lines on either side and then two small triangles. And in each of those little ears you're going to draw a tiny triangle. Next we're going to draw the sides of the head with two curving lines that come downward and then we're going to draw the cat's face. On either side, draw an oval. And in the eyes, you're going to draw one large circle and two small circles. Then use the mark maker that you've chosen to draw with and shade in the eyes or you can use a black felt marker or a black crayon or pencil crayon whatever you prefer. Next we're going to draw the nose and mouth so one line down and two diagonal lines. From the head, draw two short lines outward and then we're going to draw the melty bits or gooey meltingness of the ice cream with some wavy or squiggly lines just underneath that. And then we're going to draw two U shapes on the body and those will be the little paws and of course we need to add some tiny little lines to create or indicate the toes. Wonderful. We're also going to add some lines around the stem so we create some detail on the cherry and then we're also going to draw a few squiggly lines here for melting parts on the cat's head and you can also add some sprinkles. And I just draw sprinkles with some tiny little squares and rectangles. Now we're going to draw the cone from the ice cream or melted parts we're going to draw and two diagonal lines inward and then we're going to connect it with a U on the bottom so it's like a curved end on an upside down triangle or something like a giant letter V. I'm also going to add the grid for this cone because my cone is waffle cone style so I'm just going to add some series of parallel lines 
to create a grid appearance. Once I have my waffle cone done, I am ready to color my cat. First, I'm going to use felt markers and I'm going to add some color to the cherry. I'm going to use a little bit of blue. I'm gonna find either a light blue pencil crayon or felt, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue around the circles of the eyes. And that will just add a little bit of shading. I'm going to use a gray felt marker for some shadows under the paws. and one half of the nose and under the melting parts on the face. I'm going to use brown to quickly color in the waffle cone texture lines. And now I'm ready to use pencil crayon for the final details. I like to use pencil crayon for the final details, but you can use uh, wax crayon or oil pastel or paint, whatever you want to use, but I'm going to use pencil crayon for a softer look. First, I'm going to use a gray pencil crayon to add some shading around my eyes. further around the paws for a range of values. And I'm also going to lightly shade the sides of my cat's head. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadows with my gray around the melting parts. Just like that. Wonderful. Now, we're gonna add some more details with pencil crayon. First, I'll use a pink to color in the areas in the ears and a few of the sprinkles. I'm also going to add a little bit of pink under the eyes, around the cheeks. This is an ice cream cat, so we can be a little bit silly. Also gonna add some pink on the melted parts. Next, I'll find some yellow. And I'll add some yellow to my melting ice cream and some of the sprinkles. because we need to have this ice cream cat have a bit of flavor. 
Now I'll find some blue. I'll add some blue around the eyes. Around the nose. I'll color in some more sprinkles. And then I'll shade on top of the gray around the side of the head. And also on the melting parts to add some shadows. So instead of shading with some black, I'm shading with blue. We also want to add some blue along the bottom of the cherry there so it looks like it's having a shadow to make it look like it's actually attached to the cat not just floating in space. And you can also add some other colors if you wish at this time. So if you want to add a bit of purple on your cat for some flavor, you can do whatever makes you happy. I like to make things nice and bright so we're adding all beautiful bright colors, whatever you want. Great. Once you're done with your cat, you're ready to address or finish your waffle cone. I'm gonna get a brown and an orange. First, I'm going to shade the sides of the waffle cone with a brown pencil crayon. And I'm holding my pencil crayon on the side so that it makes a bigger mark. And I'm doing dark along the edges and then I'll go again but this time I'm pressing a little bit lighter as I work towards the middle. Now I want to press hard around the dripping areas so that it looks like it has a shadow as it drips down onto the waffle cone. Finally, I'll shade with some orange in the waffle cone to make this nice and bright. And then we'll go back over the rest with brown to tone it down. So orange and now brown to tone it down. And I'm only gonna color in between each square. Finally, I can use my white pencil crayon and wherever I have some felt or I want highlights, I can add some highlights onto my elements. So a little bit of white in the eyes. I can use it to add highlights on the cone. And then I can also even use some purple to add some shadows on the cone and to create a little bit of variety to add some interest on my artwork. Wonderful. 
And finally, to finish off your cat, you're going to just go around the whole drawing with a black marker along the edge and that's just going to clean up all your lines and it's going to make your drawing stand out. So we're just going to go back over the edge and kind of create a thicker border. And that will make your details really pop out. And once you're done going back over your border, your beautiful cat ice cream cone is now done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers! Find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.